tasks and decades. Again, continuation po ito, part 3, kasi po naputol tayo kanina. So again, research on Piagetian's task indicates that thinking becomes more logical and abstract as children reach the formal operational stage. What is an educational implication of this finding? A. Engage children in analogic, analogical reasoning as early as preschool to train them for higher order thinking skills. B. Learners who are not capable of logical reasoning from the age 8 to 11 lag behind in their cognitive development. C. Let children be children. D. Expect hypothetical reasoning for learners between 12 to 15 years of age. Again, anong tinatanong? Piaget's um, thinking. Uh, Piaget's uh, theory entailed us that when uh, things become, uh, you know, things become more difficult, that children also becomes more logical and abstract. So ano daw yan? Sir, mahirap man, uy, kasi uh, parang tama naman si A, parang tama naman si B, at pwede rin si C, at pwede rin si D. Ganito yan. Dito mo maa-apply yung edad, okay? O, Piaj, ano yung sensory motor? O, birth to two year old. O, ano naman yung um, pre-operational? Three to six. Ano naman yung... Um, Concrete operational, 7-11. Ano naman yung uh, formal operational, 12 and up. Ano bang binanggit dyan sa tanong, formal operational teachers? Bakit A yung sinagot nyo? Dahil mahaba, huwag sanang ganyan. Again, formal operational, underline it. Know the age. O, edad, 12 and up. O, sino ba sa choices ang may 12 so kahit hindi mo nabasahin yung napakahaba-habang choices, kayo talaga, hanapan nyo po ng mali ang uh, choices. no Letter A, walang binanggit dyan. Letter B, meron pero that's concrete kasi 8 to 11. Let children be children, wala. Letter D, 12 to 15 years old, they are more uh, hypothetical in their reasonings because you know, uh, things will become abstract in nature. That is uh, Piaget's cognitive development theory. Idrill nga natin, sabihin nyo yung stage, sabihin ko yung edad. Pag sinasabi natin 12 and up, formal. Pag sinasabi natin 7-11, uh, ang bata bumili sa 7-11, concrete, operational. What about for 0 to 3? That is sensory motor. What about 3 to 7? That is very good, pre-operational. Ganun lang po kadali kapag PAJ na po. Yan, anong teorya? Cognitive Development Theory. Let's go. Research says, people tend to attribute their successes to internal causes and their failures to external causes. Based on this finding, what should be taught to students for them to genuinely be motivated to succeed? A. Tell them, the research finding when applied will make them genuinely motivated. B. Convince them that genuine motivation is the only factor that matters for a person to succeed. C. Make them realize that failure is a part of life. D. Make them realize that both success and failure are more function of internal causes. Anong tinatanong dyan? Based on the findings daw na nabanggit sa itaas, ano daw ang ah, kailangang ituro sa mga bata para magiging totoong motibado? We always advise this to people who are failing. And yes, that is very true because uh, when you make them realize that failure is part of success, what? 
they will be able to introspect. They will be able to realize that okay, success is more sweet when you when you uh, experience failure. Letter C po ang tamang sagot dyan. Make them realize that failure is part of life. Letter C. Maraming nagkakamali. Saktan mo sarili mo. Ah, yeah, very good. Next item. Which characterize uh, a learning environment that promotes fairness among learners of various culture, family background, and gender? Again, anong hinahanap? Underline the word fairness. A, inclusive. B, exclusive. C, gender sensitive. Mm -hmm. Sige nga. Fairness. When you say inclusive, lahat papasok. Binge, uh, pilay, normal, may ADHD, kahit sino, pwede. That is inclusive. Uh, exclusive. Puro normal lang ha. Bawal yung mga may kapansanan. That is exclusive education. Gender sensitive. O, oh, meron na tayong gender and development. So, God, di ba? Letter C is the correct answer. Exclusive po is not fair. And you know it. Very good. May nagkakamali pa rin. Ewan kung bakit. Ano kaya ang nabasa nila dyan? Yes. Letter C. Next. What type of test is most appropriate if teacher Yanni wants to measure students' ability to organize thoughts and ideas? Oh, huh? Organize thoughts and ideas. Pag nagkakamali ka pa rito, kurutin mo ang katabi mo. <laughs> Short answer type of test. Does that what uh, entail or teach you to organize your thoughts and ideas. So underline the word organized thoughts. B, extended response essay. C, modified alternative response or true or false. D, limited response essay. One sentence lang. Oh, yung mga ganyan, di ba? The answer here is obvious naman. To organize your thoughts, of course, you have to have extended response essay. Yung mahahaba, hindi yung dalawang sentence, isang sentence. How can you encapsulate everything in a sentence? ba? Lalo na kapag kailangan ng paliwanag. So that's letter B. Uh, tingnan natin. Very good. Tama tayo. Next, here is a test item. Blank is an example of a leafy vegetable. Why is this test item poor? Bakit daw uh, panget ang item na to? One, the test item does not pose a problem to the examinee. Two, there are variety of possible correct answer to this item. Three, the language used in the question is not precise. Four, the blank is at the beginning of the sentence. Again, Bakit poor ang item na nabanggit dyan? Obvious. The test item does not pose a problem to the examinee. Mm -hmm. It poses a problem. Problema yan. <laughs> so it is not the reason why it is poor. Number two, there are variety of possible correct answers. Yes, uh, Blank is an example of leafy vegetable. Ah, malunggay. Ano pa? Agbate, cabbage, what else? Oh, marami. ba? Pag sinasabi naman natin na the language used in the question is not precise, precise naman po ang mga lingwaheng dinamit. ba? So parang hindi siya ganun ka-applicable. Number four, the blank is at the beginning of the sentence. Yes, that's true. Bawal mong ilagay yung blank doon sa unahan. Ayos? Dapat ang blank nasa hulihan. That is letter baby. Baboy. Next item. Nakakasagot. Very good. Next. If Betty 
wants to measure her student's ability to discriminate. Oh, what do you mean by discriminate again? Kaya niyang pag-iba-ibahin. Okay? Which of uh, these is an appropriate type of test item as implied by the direction? A. Outline the chapter on the cell. B. Summarizes, I mean summarize the lesson yesterday. C. Group the following items according to shape. D. State a set of principles that can explain the following events. Anong hinahanap dito? Discriminate. Okay? Obvious, no? Kapag wording, tingnan nyo, look at the whole thing. Napakahirap. Look at those clues that I am talking about. Discriminate, eh. So, ibig sabihin, i-grupo mo, diba? Ang mga iba't iba yung hugis. Circle. Square, rectangle, oblong, parallelogram. That's letter C, uh, grouping. Next. Which form of assessment is consistent with the saying, the proof of padding is in the eating? Again, which form of assessment is consistent with the saying, the proof of padding is in the eating? A, contrive. Uh, what is contrive, sir? Fake experiences. Again, fake experiences. Letter B, authentic. Totoo. Letter C, traditional. Yung paper pencil. Letter D, yung indirect. Sige nga. That is letter B. Baboy. Authentic. Totoo. Real ya. Next. A test item has a difficulty index of 0.82 and a discrimination index of 0.5. What should a teacher do? Again, a test item has a difficulty index of 0.82 and a discrimination index of 0.5. What should a teacher do? Reject the item, revise the item, make it a bonus, Make it a bonus item and reject it. Okay? Tingnan natin kung kaya nyo itong sagutin. Actually, meron akong inihanda na um, diagram dito. Pero ewan ko ba, hindi ko na save. Okay, in double item analysis teachers, you first have to look at the discrimination index, oh, 0.5, no? And then uh, look at uh, look next to the difficulty index and then you decide, di ba? So obvious po na yung 0.82 ng difficulty index, you have to reject the item dahil ang 0.81 to 1 very easy ang item diyan. Okay, so that uh, tells us that you have to reject the item. Very good, reject, reject. Yes, next. Here is a test item. Who is uh, best admired for outstanding contribution to world peace? A, Kissinger. B, Kennedy, uh, Clinton. C, Kennedy. D, Mother Teresa. Now, the question, what is wrong with this item? What is wrong with this item? A. Item is overly specific. B. Content is trivial. C. Test item is option-based. D. There is a cue to the right answer. Sige nga. Again, what is wrong with the test item mentioned on the PowerPoint presentation? Ayan. Okay. May nakikita akong tama sagot. Marami. Very good. The correct answer here is 
the content is trivial. Again, the content is trivial. Uh, ang sinasabi kasi dyan, best admired. Eh si Kennedy, best admired din naman. Si Mother Teresa, best admired din naman. Si Kissinger at si Clinton. Oo. Di ba? So that is, the content is trivial. Uh, a round of applause for those who got it correctly. You improve for those who got it wrong. Next. Oh, may sagot na. Moral dilemmas. Ayan, pag-usapan natin si Kulberg. Kasi may dalawang question sa board exam, no? Na, na baka mapagpalit ninyo. Kapag ang uh, explain ko na lang, uh, PSP lamang, I mean PCP lamang to. Pre-conventional, conventional, post-conventional. Post Pag sinasabi natin pre-conventional, that is all about punishment and obedience. That is, that is all about pleasure principle and conform to get rewards and to have favors returned. Okay? Pero pag sinasabi natin conventional, good boy or good girl, law and order. Pag sinasabi naman natin na post-conventional, that is um, social ethical principle and that is about social contract. Okay? So, explain ko paano ba siya ginamit sa board exam. Okay? Kay Kulberg, laging moral dilemma po ang uh, hinahanap dyan. Again, kay Kulberg, mal palagi pong moral dilemma kung paano ka uh, mag-adjust no, sa, sa given situation or paano mo siya i-handle. Now, punta tayo sa board exam questions. Ganito yan. May isang taxi driver. Nakakita siya ng wallet tapos isinauli niya sa may-ari. Ano daw ang uh, moral reasoning na meron siya? Ang sagot, post-conventional. Okay? Ang sagot, post-conventional. Pero, the same situation. Sa isang classroom, may estudyante ka na nakakita ng wallet, ibinigay niya sa'yo para isa uli doon sa may-ari. Ano ang kanyang moral reasoning? Ang sagot dyan, conventional. Because, again, kapag bata, that, uh, that is um, about being a good boy or a good girl. Okay? Again, kapag bata, nakakita ng wallet, conventional. Kapag taxi driver, post-conventional. Okay? Kapag naman po, moral reasoning, ano ang laging inoncorporate ni teacher? Moral dilemmas. Malinaw? Very good. Next item. Marking on a normative basis means that normative, underline the word normative. A, the normal distribution curve should be followed. B, should uh, some should fall. C, some get high marks. D, the grading is based on a present criteria. Underline the word normative. When you say normative, it should be in the normal curve. Letter A. Letter A. Very good. O, oh, di ba? May clue talaga mga katanungan. Next item. If the scores of your test follows a negatively skewed score distribution, what should you do first? Again. If the scores of your test follows a negatively skewed score distribution, what should you do first? A. Why your items were easy? B. Why most of the scores are high? C. Why most of the scores are low? D. Why some pupils scored high? Sige. What do you think is the correct answer for this item? Negatively skewed. Ano daw ang unang gagawin? Tanungin ang sarili kung bakit tests are easy or items are easy or scores are high. Of course, hindi scores are low. Again, uh, ganito yan, di ba? Negatively skewed. Low ba ang scores dyan? Hindi, mahatataas. So, X na po si C. Letter D. Why some pupils scored high? Why some pupils scored high? Hindi po some. Most dapat. 
kasi negatively skewed. So, wrong pa rin yung letter D because of the word sum. Di ba? Now, which is which? Kapag tinanong sa board exam, what is the problem with negatively skewed? Ang sagot dyan, items were easy. Pero iba po ang sitwasyon dito sa tanong na to. Ano daw ang una mong gagawin kapag ang iyong test ay nagsunod uh, or nag-follow sa negatively skewed na distribution? Ang tanong na isasagot mo dapat ay... Dun, 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 dun. Maraming nakakatama, meron ding nagkakamali. Ang sagot ay, why most of the scores are high? Itanong mo, bakit ba matataas to? And then later on, you found out, okay, madali lang ang test. Ay, okay, magaling lang akong magturo. Ay, okay, matatalino lang ang estudyante ko. Ayos? Yan. Next. Well, ah, uh, yan, may sagot na. Locus of control test. Uh, may sagot na yan, so wag na natin itackle. Next. So, pag sinasabi natin locus of control test, uh, ten, tingnan mo na lang yan. May internal locus at may external external locus. Pag sinasabi natin internal, I control the consequences of my behavior. Pag sinasabi natin external, the consequences of my behavior are beyond my control. Okay? That is Locus of control test. Okay? Next. No, bakit may mga sagot na to? Eto. At triadic. Pag sinasabing triadic, three. Oh. Interaction be, uh, includes three persons. How many persons are included in dyadic interaction? Pag di, dalawa. Two. A. Next. When I teach skills that are critical to the learning of the next topics, what should I employ? What should I employ? A, direct instruction. B, mastery learning. C, Socratic method. D, cooperative learning. Again, when I teach uh, skills that are critical to the learning of the next topics, unsa may mong buhaton? Anong gagawin mo? You do drills or mastery learning. Okay? You do drills. That's letter B. Letter B. Palakpakan mo yung sarili mo kapag nakakasagot ka dyan, no? Ibig sabihin, ang galing mo. Next item. Mastery learning can be attained using drills. Okay? Next. Teacher Joy wanted to teach the pupils the skill of cross Teaching. Uh, cross teaching, Monique, stretching boy. Her check up quiz was written test on the steps of uh, cross stitching. What characteristic of good test does it lack? Again, Teacher Joy wanted uh, to teach the pupils the skill of cross stitching. Her check up quiz was written test on the steps of cross stitching. What characteristic of good test does it lack? Anong kulang? Gusto mo turuan sila ng cross-stitching. Pero bago ka nagturo, nagpapatest ka muna ng steps of cross-stitching. Ano ang mali? It's the reliability. Very good. It's the reliability. Hindi reliable yung test mo. Bakit? Alam mo naman, di ba, na ituturo mo pa lang. So, bakit mo pa sila ititest? Oo. Di ba? So, hindi reliable yung magiging resulta because hindi pa nila alam dahil hindi mo pa naituro. Malinaw? That is reliability. Ngayon, talk about validity. Valid yung test mo dahil cross-teaching yung pinapatest mo. Pero hindi siya reliable dahil nga hindi mo pa naituro sa kanila. Again, valid ba ang test? Yes. Ano bang gusto mong matutunan nila? Cross-teaching. Ano bang ipinapatest mo? Cross-teaching. So, valid ang test. Ang question, reliable ba ang test? Hindi. Bakit? 
alam mo naman kasi na hindi pa nila alam yan. Bakit mo pa ipapatest sa kanila? Ligwak. <laughs> Next item. After a lesson on an atom, the students were asked to work on a physical model of the atom to determine learning. For which group of student is building an atom model intended? A. Interpersonality intelligent. B. Kinesthetically intelligent. C. Mathematically intelligent. D. Linguistically intelligent. Obvious naman. Building. Underline the word building. Again, what to underline? Building. So, sino ba ang magbibuild? Yung mga magagaling sa diplomacy, yung interpersonality, yung pumupunta sa kapitbahay, nagchichismis, joke lang. Yung mathematical, yung magaling mag-solve ng math. Linguistically, yung mga magagaling mag-ingles at sa ibang mga lingwahe. Or, kinesthetically, yung magaling gumawa. Yun, that's letter B. Obvious, no? Obvious. Building letter B. Kinesthetically intelligent people. Next. Which is or are effective method in teaching students critical reading skills? A. Read and interpret three different movie reviews. B. Interpret editorials about a particular subject from three different newspapers. C. Distinguish fiction from non-fiction materials. D. Interpret editorials and read and interpret a three different movie reviews. Sige nga. What is asked? Which are effective method in teaching students critical reading skills? Critical. From the word itself, you can tell ano dapat ang gagawin. A. Read and interpret. Interpret, that's understanding. B. Interpret editorials about particular subject from three different newspapers. Yun. Medyo merong um, relevance sa critical thinking. C. Distinguish fiction and non-fiction. That's merely... Um, ano uh, ang tawag dyan that's merely inspection di ba? letter D uh, interpret editorials and read and interpret three different movie reviews again pag sinasabi natin critical thinking kapag movie reviews ni-review mo yung mga uh, ni-review mo ang movie reviews so is that critical thinking o oh, di ba? Another, letter A, read and interpret three different movie reviews. Read and interpret three different movie reviews. Aba, yung review ng, ng isang tao, re-reviewin mo pa. Is that critical thinking? So, letter A and D are synonymous. They are not part of the correct answer. Letter C, distinguish fiction from non-fiction materials. Well, uh, although may kaunting critical thinking siya, Pero hindi siya ganun ka lakas. Bakit? Distinguishing is just about, well, uh, inspection. No? Uh, eto, um, totoo to kasi nangyayari. Eto, hindi to totoo kasi hindi to nangyayari. That's, that's not something na um, pasok talaga sa tinatawag nating critical thinking. So ano yung pasok dyan? Yung letter B, tingnan nyo. I-interpret mo raw ang editorials about a particular subject from three different newspapers. Bakit? Newspapers class. They are what? Secondary sources and sometimes they are primary sources. So ang ibig sabihin dyan, you are a critical thinker when you try to interpret okay, different writings in different perspectives. Tama? Letter B ang sagot. Uh, sino ba naka... Tingnan natin, tama ba tayo? Very good. That's letter B. Next. Which group of score is most varied? Which group of scores is most varied? Ah. Oh, nagpataka, radyo di ay kuog bangag. Hala, tarungan ng bangaga din ha. Unsa naman ha. 
letter A, point 92, point 50, point 15, point 75. Ano yung sabi ni Sir Melvin? Kapag uh, vary, varied, mataas ang standard deviation. Again, kapag varied, mataas ang standard deviation. Sino ang pinakamataas dyan? Huh? Group of score is most varied. Letter A. Very good. That's point 92. Mas mataas ang standard deviation mas varied, mas katag, mas scattered, mas mas far ang scores from each other. Okay? That's it. Point 92 yan. Next. When you reach the plateau of learning, what should you do? Ano? What is plateau of learning, sir? Yung nag-aaral ka pero wala na talagang pumapasok. What should you do? Plateau of learning yan. Okay? A. Forget about learning. B. Reflect what cost it. C. Force yourself to learn. D. Rest. Again, na-reach mo raw ang plateau of learning. Ibig sabihin, kahit anong aral mo, walang pumapasok. This is a very tricky question. Hayaan mo na lang. Or you force yourself, or you forget about it, or matulog ka. Oh, relate daw. Sino nakaka-relate? Yung kahit anong aral mo, lang papasok. What should you do? Of course, idealist tayo dapat. Kung realist ka dyan, matulog ka. Pero idealist, again, in answering the board question, dapat idealist ka. Dapat mabait kang teacher. Dapat hindi ka after sa salary. Dapat ikaw ay prim and proper. Dapat ikaw ay sumasamba sa code of ethics. That is reflect what cost it. Oy, teacher, wag kang tatamad-tamad. Anong rest? Reflect what cost it. You have to reflect what cost your plateau of learning. What is plateau of learning? Walang pumapasok kahit anong aral ang gawin mo. Okay? Uh, very good. Yan, katawa yung mga naungan ni nila. Hidaggo kay bakbak mo katawa. Pagklaro mo din ha. Uh, ayusin nyo. Mm -hmm. Letter, ligwak lahat. <laughs> ligwak. Ngis, uh, ngis. Katawa lang mo. Okay, that is letter B. You reflect, you introspect, you ask yourself, bakit ba ako demotivated? Hiniwala yan ba ako ng jowa ko? <laughs> Ganun yun, di ba? Ano bang nangyayari sa akin? Oh, that is reflection. <laughs> letter B. A test item has a difficulty index of 0.51 and a discrimination index of 0.25. What should you do? Uh, teachers, sinabi ko sa inyo noon, di ba, na kapag positive yung discrimination index, um, look at the difficulty index. Pero, ang binigay kasi dito is actual value. no? So, ibig sabihin yung mga points ng mga discrimination index. So, ipapaliwanag ko na lamang po. No, you should not retain this. Okay, why? This is something new that I will teach. That's why you are here. Okay? Kapag po hindi binigay yung positive at negative at zero, hindi sinabi ba na a positive discrimination index and a difficulty index of 0.5, yung ganun, ah, re, re, uh, retain yun. Pero binigay kasi doon 0.25, di ba? So dahil merong ganun, ipapaliwanag ko kung bakit ang sagot doon ay hindi retain. Revise ang sagot. Why? Look at the interpretation of discrimination index. Screenshot that one. Memorize that. Bakit? 0.09 to 0.19, that means poor item. 0.20 to 0.29, that is fair item. Kanina class, we reached 10,000. Ngayon, 6,323 na lang kayo. And you guys are so blessed to see this one. Dahil after this live, ipa-private ko ito. So, you are going to benefit from this, really. Yes, I tell you. So, again, 
Uh, pag sinasabi natin 0.3 to 0.39, that is a good item. Pag sinasabi natin 0.40 and above, that is a very good item. Okay? So now, i-combine natin sila. Look at the given. Difficulty index of 0.51 and a discrimination index of 0.25. Anong sabi ni Sir Melvin? Look first the difficult, uh, the discrimination index. Look at the discrimination index. Saan ang 0.25? Diyan, sa fair item. Kapag fair ang item, are you going to retain it right away? No. You have to revise the item. Okay? So, again, dahil po merong value of decimals na binigay ang let, Bigyan natin siya ng pagpapakahulugan. Pero sir, what if positive discrimination index lang? E di, mas madali yun. Pero kapag ganito ang tanungan, at least alam mo yung intervals. Again, pag sinasabi natin 0.40 and above, that's good item. Retain it. Kapag naman po 0.30 to 0.39, good item, that means uh, revise yan. Okay? 0.20 to 0.29, fair item. Revise pa rin yan. What about for 0.09 to 0.19? That is reject the item because the item is very poor. Malabo? Hindi yan malabo. Kulang lang yung resolution mo dyan. Okay? You just have to increase your resolution. And you can see the highest the resolution after this is uploaded. Duh! Ayos! Klaro man good sa injo ang signal. Da. Klaro lagi. Next. <laughs> Iba po yung double discrimination index. Ito po yung double discrimination and ano? May wala yan sa Prof. Ed. Okay? Wala yan. Ito lang po. Double item analysis. Yes. Ayos na. Again, unang tingnan, discrimination index. So no difficulty index. Okay? Kapag nakita mo naman sa discrimination index na hindi siya 0.40 and above, aba, revise na agad yan. Ayos. Next. Land ignoring, signal interference, and proximity control are techniques used in blank. A. Managing temper tantrums. B. Managing surface behaviors. C. Operant conditioning. D. Live space interviewing. Again, planned ignoring, signal interference, proximity control, direct appeal, antiseptic bouncing, physical restraint, verbal, non-verbal. Unsa man na, they are what? Sige ko no. They are for the management of surface behaviors. Very good. Kanang dulo, uh, lalapitan mo ang bata, proximity control, hindi mo pinansin, plan ignoring, kinuha mo yung nakakadistract, removal of seductive objects, pinatransfer mo ng seat, physical restraint. That's non-verbal. Signal interference. Get out. That's antiseptic bouncing, di ba? O antiseptic from the word itself, antiseptic, di ba? Naglalagay tayo ng antiseptic sa ating mga um, tawag dito, sa ating uh, <laughs> ano tawag dyan? Sa ating sugat para ano? Para lumabas yung bakterya, yung kagaw, di ba? So tulad po sa classroom, antiseptic bouncing, palabasin mo ang kagaw, di ba? Palabasin mo yung, ayan, badlungon. <laughs> Very good. Uh, managing surface behavior yan. Next. Lumabas ang pare. <laughs> Next. Ay, ay, nakamali yun. Letter A, okay? Letter A. Um, in values education, faith, hope, and love are believed to be tem uh, permanent values whether uh, they be valued by people or not. Upon what philosophy is this anchored? Again, values add faith and hope. Ano yan? Obvious, no? That's idealism. Ano yung realism? Truth can be tested 
and proven true. Existentialism, choice, uh, um, uniqueness, peculiarity. Okay? Anong ayaw ng mga idea, uh, existentialist? Yung val, virtues. Yung virtues. Ayaw niya ng virtues. Po, pragmatism naman po. This believes in change and this believes in learning by doing. Okay? That's it, no? And then, values add faith, hope. That's idealism. Teacher nagpapamemorize ng rules of grammar. That's idealism. Teacher hindi nagbebenta ng ice candy sa loob ng classroom. That's idealism. Teacher na nagsusumbong kapag nag-cheat yung kanilang co-teachers. That's idealism. Yes. Next item. In schools, we teach realities that cannot be verified by senses like an invisible God or Allah. Whose beliefs does this practice negate? Again, sa skwelahan daw, nagtuturo tayo ng mga realidad na hindi naman pwedeng verifikahin ng ating mga senses. No? Like the invisible God or Allah. Whose beliefs uh, should or this practice uh, negate a stoics? What is stoics? That is acceptance of your status quo. Next, rationals. Oh, yung rason. Skeptics, yung pagdududa. Empiricists, yung senses. Okay? So, obvious naman po, senses, di ba? Senses, empiricists, that's letter D. Okay? Letter D. Next. Which emphasized on non-violence as the path to true peace as discussed in peace education. Again, which emphasize on non-violence as the path to true peace as discussed in peace education. A. Taoism. B. Buddhism. C. Hinduism. D. Shintoism. Ano nga yan? True peace. That's Hinduism. That's no, it's not Buddhism. It's Hinduism. Okay? Again, pag peace education, that's Hinduism. Uh, Buddhism. Okay? That's it. Letter say Hinduism. Next. Computer-assisted instruction is an offshoot of theory of blank. Sinabi ko to kanina. Again, Computer-assisted instruction is an offshoot of the theory of blank. A. John P.J. B. Uh, Jerome Bruner. C. B.F. Skinner. Uh, D. J. Watson. Okay. Very good. That's B.F. Skinner. Ano nga yun kay John Piaget? Cognitive Development Theory. Ano yung una? Sensory. Ano yung pangalawa? Pre-operational. Ano yung pangatlo? Concrete Operational. Ano yung pangapat? Formal Operational. Punta tayo sa edad. Kapag sinasabi kong 0 to 3, sensory. Pag sinasabi ko namang 3 to 7, pre-operational. Pag sinasabi kong 7, 11, that's opera a concrete operational. Pag sinasabi ko namang 12 and up, that's formal operational. Pag sinasabi kong abstract, formal. Pag sinasabi kong seriation, concrete. O, pag sinasabi ko namang uh, decentration, pre-operational, animism, pre-operational. What about for marvels? Pre-operational. What about for nahahawakan? Sensory. Okay? What about for Watson? Father of behaviorism. What about for uh, Skinner? Operant conditioning, reinforcement. Okay? What about for Brunner? Consequences. Again, Brunner, Consequences. Skinner, reinforcement. Huwag mo kalilimutan ha. Yes, very good. No? Next. So, uh, letter C uh, is the correct answer. Sinabi ko na yan kanina. No? Applying Confucius teachings, how would hiring personnel select the most fit in government positions? Ah, oh, Confucius. Government positions, government examinations. Yun yung sagi, palagi, na ba? Inuulit-ulit ko na yan na kapag Confucius, may exam, uh, uh, may good values, may good government, may Kung Fu Chu, may Book of the Sons, di ba? 
my values. Siksik, di ba? Malinaw po ba ang paliwanag natin? Very good. Next item. Oh, may sagot na. Authority of professional teacher. You decide on how to teach a particular lesson. That's your authority. Next. To determine her student's level of moral development. Ay, moral development. Huwag na natin ituloy. Kulberg. Kulberg. Ano yung ginawa ni Pia J? Cognitive development. What about Freud? Psychoanalytic. What about Brunner? Uh, consequences. Diba? Three-tiered learning. Next. Uh, according to RA9155, which among the following is considered the heart of the formal education system? Again, according to 9155 or the DepEd law, what, uh, which of the following is considered the heart of the formal education system? The learner, the teacher, the classroom, the school. Sige nga. <clears throat> Heart of the formal educational system. The heart is the school because it is the nursery of the state. Yes, it is the school. Dep Ed, mm, kamu ba? Learner da yun. Heart of the formal educational system, it's the school. Next. You arrange the rows of blocks in such a way that a row of five blocks is longer than a row of seven blocks. If you ask which a row has more, grade one pupils will say that it is the row that makes the longer line. Based on Jan J. Saan ito kabilang? Okay? Based on Jan J, yung 5 blocks is longer than the 7 blocks. That's very good. Conservation. Ano ba yung assimilation? Yung apat na paa, tinawag mo lahat aso. Assimilation yan. Kapag natutunan mo na hindi lahat pala apat na paa aso, accommodation yan. Kapag naman po egocentrism, lahat na lang ng nakikita mo ay tama para sa'yo. At conservation, that is uh, the question about, di ba? Yung mas mahaba daw ang uh, eh? such a way that a, five row, or a, a row of five blocks is longer than a row of seven blocks. So kaya na niyang mag-discriminate. That is conservation problem. Next. Bro, in such a way that a row, if you ask the uh, which row has more, the great one people will say that it is the row that makes the longer line. Yes, they can conserve now. Yes, that is um, conservation. Letter C. Yes, very good. According to RA 9155, school heads um, has two roles, namely administrative manager and blank. Again, um, a school head has two roles according to DepEd Law 9155, namely admin manager and blank. A, health officer. B, instructional leader. C, facilitator. D, guidance counselor. They are the, very good, they are the admin and the leader. Very good. That's letter B. Very good, very good. Ayan. Pero yung iba nagkamali pa rin. Para po sa mga nagkamali, you still have to learn, practice, and practice. Okay? Next. After reading uh, and paraphrasing Robert uh, Frost stopping by woods on a snowy evening, teacher Lara asked the class to share any insights derived from the poem. In which domain in Bloom's taxonomy of objectives is the term paraphrase? 
Sige nga. Underline the word there. Um, what? Uh, paraphrasing. Under, underline the word paraphrasing. Sige. So kapag nag-paraphrase ka, what is involved? Is it analysis, the breaking down of ideas? Is it application, the transfer of learning? Is it synthesis, the building up of ideas? Or is it just merely understanding? Yes, that is. Paraphrasing is comprehension. Teachers, kanina pa ako nagbibigay ng technique. Bakit? Nagkakamali pa rin. Dapat ang end goal natin, ang mga katanungan pang lalabas, dapat maitama nyo na po. Please naman dyan. Very good. Comprehension. Yes. Next. Which characterize a constructivist teaching learning process? Oh, pag sinasabi natin constructivist, anong tatandaan? Review for continuity. A, conceptual interrelatedness. B, multiple perspectives. C, authentic assessment. D, passive acceptance of information. Continuity. Ah, uh, claro, pero alam kong magkakamali sila rito because may magandang distractor na binigay si Let. Ayan. O, oh, di ba? May maraming sumagot ng si Mali po ang si. Hindi naman po siya tinatanong. Constructivist po ang tinatanong. So, ibig sabihin, review because you want to test the prior knowledge to see if Ayan. Meron bang relevant sa present topic? Kaya ang tawag dyan, interrelatedness. Very good. O yun, nung mo sumasagot ng A, palakpakan mo sarili mo. Di ba? May sumigaw pa ng A. A, A is for apple. <laughs> Let's letter A, no? Letter A. Next. On what theory is the consequence, I mean, on what theory is the sequencing of instructional I, instruction anchored. Again, on what theory is the sequencing of instruction anchored? O, sequencing. Di ba? Yung G-I-R-P, Pepa E, Robert Gangne. O, G-I-R-P, gaining the attention, inform the objective. Um, R, <laughs> G-I-R-P, recalling prior knowledge. P, presenting materials. O, ano yan? Kai? Gangne, letter A, di ba? Kumanta ka lang. G-I-R-P, Pepa E, Robert Gangne. Oh. Ano yung law of effect? That's the law of readiness, exercise, effect. That's why Thorndike's law of drills is very important. no? And then, uh, Bandura's social learning theory, that is... Uh, modeling, the bobo dal, the bobo dal, okay? And then Skinner's operant conditioning, that is for the computer-assisted instruction. Ang gangne, alam na natin yan, yung cumulative learning niya, ay ang nine events of instruction. Next. When small children calls all animals dogs, what process is illustrated based on Piaget's CDT? Oh, Piaget ha, niya. tanan ko nung nga dogs, iyang gitawag o, at tanan ko nung animals, gitawag niyang dog. An ano raw ang kanyang classification sa cognitive development according to Piaget? Obvious ba? It's assimilation. Conservation, alam niyo na, na yung mahaba at yung maikli, kaya niyang ma-identify. Ang reversion naman ay ang tinatawag natin uh, 4 plus 5, 9. 5 plus 4, 9. Kapag na-reverse niya, that's what you call reversibility under concrete operational. Kapag naman po accommodation, adjustment, when you learn that not all animals are dogs. Ayos? I-drill natin. Again, when you learn that not all animals are dogs, accommodation. Pero kapag lahat ng hayop, tinawag mong dogs, assimilation. Kapag naman po yung mahaba at maikli, conservation. Kapag naman po kaya mong pagbabalik-balik na rin, reversibility. Saan siya kabilang concrete operational. Next. Uh, 
pag maputol to, um, i-continue na natin next time. Kung maputol, pero kung hindi, ipagpapatuloy natin. Okay? Again, kapag maputol to teachers, ipagpapatuloy na natin next time kasi tatlong videos na yung kailangan kong i-edit. So, uh, trabahuin ko lang. Pero, kapag hindi na puputol to, aba, continue tayo hanggang magdamag. Next. According to Tolman's theory on purposive behaviorism, learning is goal-directed. What is its implication to teaching? Again, according to Tolman's theory on purposive behaviorism, learning is goal-directed. What is its implication to teaching? A. Evaluate lessons based on uh, your objectives. B. Set uh, as many objectives as you can. C. Stick to your objectives no matter what happens. D. Make the objectives of your lessons clear and specific. How do you make objectives? Everybody say smart. Oh, ano yung S? Specific. Ano yung M? Specific. 